ഹലോ ഓൾ വെൽക്കം ടു ദ പ്രോഗ്രാം ന്യൂ യുവർ ഗവൺമെൻറ് ബൈ ന്യൂ ഐ എ എസ് ആൻഡ് ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റീവ് വേർ എ ഗവൺമെൻറ് സ്കീം ഈസ് പിക്ട് അപ്പോൺ ഇലാബറേറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇസ് ഫോളോഡ് ബൈ എ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഇൻ ലൈൻ വിത്ത് യു പി എസ് സി പാറ്റർ ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ടു എ സ്കീം വിച്ച് ഇസ് നോൺ എസ് ദ ഇംപ്രസ് ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ദ ഇംപ്രസ് ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ഇംപ്രസ് ബേസിക്കലി സ്റ്റാൻഡ്സ് ഫോർ ഇംപാക്ട് ഫുൾ policy research in social science impactful policy research in social science impactful policy research in social science this is a scheme by the ministry of human resources and development hrd ministry scheme is the impress scheme and this is a scheme for research in social sciences to promote the research in social sciences across our nation one and also to identify that the researches which has been happening in social sciences that is eventually having an impact upon the policy which is being formulated across our nation and policy which is being implemented across our nation so that there is a linkage happening between the real need of the society the research methodology as well as the policy formulation is one of the key objective of the impress scheme so this is a scheme for research in social sciences now it aims to have enhanced coordination between academics and the policy makers so the academicians would do the extensive research upon the social science aspect and eventually the policy makers will put up or come up with policies pertaining to that one so it is a two way hand in hand methodology so that the end citizens are basically benefited out of it now this is implemented by the indian council of social science research indian council of social science research i c s s r is the implementing agency of the impress scheme then it addresses the issue of bridging the gap between policy making implementing and the society so the policies to be made the made policies to be basically implemented and the policies is having basically meeting the needs of the society so a society triggered policy based approach by generating or encouraging vital inputs from research in social science disciplines is something which is envisaged through the impress initiative now elimination of conflicting interest of various departments see there can be different ministries or different ministerial departments which is working for the betterment of the citizens of our nation but there can be some scenario where which there can be a conflict of interest happening between the two ministries so in such such a scenario if the policies or the if the proposals are coming up in such a manner that that is basically useful for both the departments or for the both ministries which in a larger turn is basically benefiting people that is what is extremely good for our good for our people so this is also playing a role in terms of eliminating the conflict of interest you know between the various departments which can be propelled upon then what are all the key objectives of the impress initiative first one is to identify and fund research proposals in social sciences with maximum impact on the governance and society so research making maximum impact upon the governance and the society one second thing is to ensure selection of projects selection of projects through a transparent competitive process through an online mode so who are be the entities who wanted to conduct the research they have to make this application in an online mode so that the process has been fairly kept transparent two third one is to provide the opportunity for social science researchers in any institutions in the country and including universities private institutions and those institutions which are conferred with the 12b status of ugc 12b status of ugc so understand that it is having universities as well as private institutions are also playing a role in terms of doing the research we now need to understand what is basically 12b in the ugc act 12b in the ugc act basically pro- is related to prohibition regarding giving of any grant to university not declared by the commission fit 
to receive such grant. So, if there are some universities which the commission is saying that okay, they are not eligible or they are not fit to get a UGC grant, those institutions should not be awarded the status to conduct research under the IMPRESS scheme. So, that is the thing which is basically acting as the key quality check in the IMPRESS scheme. I will repeat it once more, it basically means that all universities and private institutions which has been granted with the 12B status by the UGC Act are the institutions to which the which can be interested in terms of conducting the research. Then, now the broad thematic areas under IMPRESS, so different anchors of social sciences which is coming into play under IMPRESS would include state and democracy, urban transformation, media culture and society, governance, innovation and public policy, agricultural and rural development, health and environment, science and education, social media and technology, politics, law and economics, employment skills and rural transformation as well as growth, macro trade and economic policy. We don't have to probably go and understand and study all this in detail but have a fair idea that those areas which is having basically an impact in the social life of the people are those areas which has been coming under the impress scheme. And that would include definitely state and democracy because it is having a social impact. Urban transformation in the cities are extremely important. Media, culture and the society, yes. Governance, innovation and public policy. Come on, this is related to research in social sciences. So definitely governance would have a role there. Agriculture and rural development, rural development, health and environment, science and education, social media and technology, politics, laws and economics, employment, skills and rural transformation. So, rural transformation is again coming up again and again as well as growth, macro trade and economic policy is something which has been envisaged under the IMPRESS scheme. Now, who all are the people who are eligible to do research under the IMPRESS scheme? First one is as we have already said, all those universities which is having the or which has been granted with the 12G status, they are eligible to, to continue with the research methodologies one and the catch is that there should be a project director who is spearheading this activity in that university and that project director, he should be a regular employee, he should be a regular employee and he should possess a PhD degree and he should have an interest in terms of doing high quality research. So, first one is regarding a project director who should be a regular employee and should possess a PhD. Then, Retired faculties with proven research interest can are also eligible to apply to do the research but they need to get themselves affiliated to any of the research institutions. Any of the research institutions, the, if the retired members are able to get affiliated to then they can also contribute in the research under the IMPRESS scheme. Now, individual scholars, individual scholars can also apply for a research in the IMPRESS scheme. Now, but the catch is you know, uh, they can put up for a maximum of two projects at, at a time. An individual can put up for a maximum of two project, uh, projects as, at, at a time. But eventually if the two projects are sanctioned upon, he can carry on with the process of only one project. Then, institutes having good research infrastructure and resources may apply for a number of proposals. So, it, the key idea is to capitalize upon those resources who can really make significant contributions and engage upon their capabilities is the one of the key ideas. Now, there will be four calls for proposals and that will be happening in an online mode and that will start from October 2018, February 2019 next year, next year September and the year after that in February. So, there will be four calls of proposals and once a proposal has been submitted within 90 days from the date of call for the proposals, within 90 days from the date of call for the proposal, the evaluation of that has to be done and the final status of whether the proposal has been approved or not has to be, uh, be made available and the online submissions of the proposal has been what has been encouraged and that should be happening through the Impress portal, Impress India portal. The scheme named Impactful Policy Research in Social Sciences or IMPRESS is expected to fund close to 1500 plus projects. So, that much is the large scale which the government is planning to implement this one. Close to 414 crore has been allocated so far to, uh, to, to, to go ahead with the research in the social science sector. 
Now, this scheme would run for four cycles. So, if one organization or one institution since this proposal has been rejected in the first cycle, they still have an avenue to come up and make meaningful contribution in the society as this scheme is being run in different cycles. Now, the quality benchmark of IMPRESS is that it is only through those institutions which is having the 12B status in the UGC Act are capable enough or are being allowed to carry on with the research activities. So, a check has been basically happening in that one as well as each project shall conclude in three years and will be monitored by Indian Council of Social Science and Research. So, each project which has been approved under the IMPRESS scheme can go maximum up to a period of three years and before that it needs to get concluded. We will now see a question which is based upon the IMPRESS scheme. With reference to IMPRESS scheme, which of the following statements given below is or are correct? This is a scheme pertaining to research in social sciences. This is a scheme pertaining to research in social sciences. We have seen that that is the crux of IMPRESS scheme. So, statement 1 is correct, which is leaving us with the answer as either A, 1 only or C, both 1 and 2 as we can eliminate B and D since statement 1 is correct. The second statement is, this is a flagship initiative set up by the Niti Aayog. No, IMPRESS scheme is not set up by the Niti Aayog. This is a scheme which is set up by the MHRD. So, the second statement is basically wrong. So, option C is wrong which is leaving us back with only one option, option A, one only. Thank you so much.